On Mobile, good afternoon. How did the Hawks take down operation go in the free state? Well, quite simply, really, from what we understand, they had an operation that was going on from October till today. From what we understand, that what they did was they went in, they called um, the people that were known to be the ones that were selling um, this, um, this registration and licensing. They called them and they basically asked them to register dummy cars. And we understand that this was, was cleared by the department, in which case then these people allowed it, or some of these officials allowed to register dummy cars. And some of these cars were in a scrapyard and they weren't even moving. And this was the first bit of the operation. And so when they walked in really at the Lingao um, station, from what we saw, it was really, really interesting to see people screaming as far as locking themselves in in their own cubicles, saying that they don't want to be arrested. And a lot of them just shocked, some of them also fainting while we were there. But they went straight to the people that were part of the syndicates, and they, they were the ones that were arrested. I mean, one of the guys that we uh, was arrested was right in front as we were walking in. He was read his rights, and he was arrested, and he walked around as we walked in and out of the, of the different offices, trying to find the people that were part of the syndicates. But we understand that this was not the only place that people were being arrested in. In fact, we understand that there were some provinces also that were involved um, that the Hawks were also waiting for, which is why we had to do this a bit later on. We understand that Eastern Cape, Limpopo, was also part of the provinces that um, were also arresting people, and the Hawks also just kind of giving us an idea that in Eastern Cape it was a bit more difficult than it was here in, 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 in Free State, and also in Gauteng, there were other people that were arrested there, but just also to get an idea as to what exactly these people were being accused of. Let's just listen in. The operation, we concentrated on serious corruption in the um, Hawks environment. We, um, we managed to arrest 15 people for charges of fraud, corruption and money laundering um, with regard to vehicles, um, roadworthiness and um, fraud. Mobile, what exactly were these officials doing? Well, basically, it seems like the license was very easy to get. It was simple as just paying the money. From what we understand, some of the officials would pocket as much as about 4,000 rand to about 7,000 rand from just a license that would be um, basically one official in a different province would have... Um, tested the car and the other official in the in another province will give the license and that's how it was being done and from one official to the next and then they will pocket this money and this is the money that they obviously were enjoying because we also went to some of the officials home and we were told some of them which we believe um, was believed to couldn't earn as much but they were able to buy houses cash they were able to buy cars cash all of this was done in less than in a month, simply, people could just buy that much and this money could not be accounted for in terms of their salaries and all of this. And it's also suspected that then that kind of money was coming from um, this, this operation that was on the ground. But also, just to get an, a clear understanding, we spoke to the hoax spokesperson and this is what she had to say. It is alleged that the, the officials were putting vehicles through roadworthy without being in possession of the vehicle or seeing the vehicle in any way, as well as putting deregistered vehicles back on the road again. Right, thank you so much to Mobile Matala.